Not all your teaching needs to be done with a patient. Try chart-stimulated recall as an ideal review at the end of the day. The chart-stimulated recall technique is um, a technique that you can use at the end of your resident's clinic. So at the end of their clinic, you'll want to go over their chart notes with them. You might want to select one, though, that you'd like to go into more detail with, and that's where the form comes in handy. Um, when you're going through the form, there's a number of parts to it. The first part is field notes and general comments about the chart note. Uh, in the chart note, you might want to make comments about, is it legible, easy to read, is all the pertinent information there, are the medications listed correctly, um, is follow-up documented, that sort of thing. The next part you would do is go into the interview questions that you can use during the chart review. You don't want to use all of them. There's several questions that you can select from. So choose a few that you'd like to go over in detail with. The third part is the actual chart review with the resident, and so that's when you sit down and you go through the interview questions, give them feedback about the chart note, and then actually discuss the case itself. So Stu, I went over all of the chart notes from your clinic that you ran yesterday, and I picked one that maybe you could go over in a little bit more detail with me. Is sure. that OK? okay. Sure. Can you just tell me briefly about the case? Yeah. Um, so I saw a 58-year-old male. Uh, he had low back pain for the last four weeks with a new onset of leg pain in the last week. Um, the back pain he describes as sort of being aching back pain, worse when he bends forward, worse when he strains on the toilet, worse when he's sitting. Um, it's often relieved when he goes for a walk. He's also been taking some Motrin for it, and he doesn't get any benefit from that. Um, he says the pain in his right leg is sort of a shooting pain. Um, he says it's worse with movement, especially forward flexion again. And again, that's only been there for the last week. Um, he's no history of trauma or an injury that set this off four weeks ago. Um, and he doesn't describe any constitutional symptoms. Okay. Um, he's not complaining of any gastrointestinal symptoms. Um, he does say, though, he's sort of had nocturia as well, mm. or he's getting up two or three times at night. Um, he also has difficulty initiating his urine stream when he starts to go. Uh, this has been long standing, go, and it's not related to what, what's been happening Both in the of last those month. Both urinary problems have been there for a long time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, in his past history, he's had no back surgery, mm -hmm. no prior back injury or pain like this. Um, he's had hypertension, he's had a lap coli in the past. Um, his father had prostate cancer mm -hmm. and died from it, so he's a bit worried that this may be prostate cancer. Mm. Um, other than that, he works as an accountant. Day to day, he can pretty much do everything he normally does with his back pain. Kay. And he's more concerned about the history of cancer. Okay. Um, his current medications include uh, Ramipril and hydrochlorothiazide. Great. So that was a good presentation. Um, you told me that he was a little concerned about his father because he had had prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. Is that what you? Th is that what he thought it was, or that it could have been? He doesn't think it's it. He just wants to make sure that it's not there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you also asked about um, effect on function that it wasn't really bothering him at work. No. So much. No. He said he could do everything he normally does. Okay. Yeah. Um, was there any expectations that he had for the visit? Um, I think he was looking for a scan. Okay. Yeah, and just to make sure that it wasn't anything sinister. Okay, yeah. great. Was there anything else at this point now that you look back on it that you wish you would have asked? Um, maybe um, how, how he's been feeling given his father's history. Okay. You know, how much that's really affecting him mm -hmm. or if it's really not bothering him that much at all. Okay, great. Um, let's go on to your investigation and referrals. You had um, decided that you wanted to do a lumbar x-ray. Uh, were there other tests that you thought about but deferred or decided not to do? Um, I was thinking maybe some blood work, but probably wait to see how the scan looks first, okay. and then maybe to see how his symptoms evolve over the next few weeks. What blood tests were you thinking about? Um, maybe just at the history of cancer, just to see if there's any kind of bony infiltration, so maybe looking at it, calcium or phos phosphate. Okay. What about a PSA? Um, probably wouldn't do a PSA because it might not change too much. 
Okay. Unless it's really, really high, but right. it's not he, too reliable. So. Okay. And you told me that he already has had some nocturia for a long time. So. Yeah, it's been long standing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's reasonable. Um, on to management and treatment. So you think that the patient's expectations for treatment were met as far as what he wanted? Um, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. I'm okay. not 100% sure though. But the Advil wasn't working and you decided on a different... Um, no, I, I said I sort of went with uh, conservative treatment like ice packs, um, heat packs, okay. um, trying to get back to some exercise, um, just light exercise, mm -hmm. and to keep going with anti-inflammatories to see if they help. Okay. But it might take a few days or something to find an effect. And he seemed happy with that plan. I think so. Great. Good. Um, what did you decide was appropriate for follow-up? Um, well, I thought about just leaving him alone and just only coming back if something was bothering him, but based on his worry and that we will give him the scan that said come back, say, in three weeks and we'll have the result of the scan and we can see how his symptoms have been. Okay, great. And um, looking into a bit of the health promotion and prevention, in your care of this patient, did you discuss any, discuss any preventative interventions during this visit? Um, not really. I think maybe it's just saying to keep on exercising, try not to lay perfectly still in bed because that might make things worse. Mm -hmm. um, that's maybe about it. Okay. Did you check his blood pressure during this visit? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. On reflection, do you think there's some interventions that would have been appropriate, either blood pressure, smoking, lifestyle change, that kind of stuff? Um, yeah, I definitely would have checked the blood pressure. Okay. If I could have done it again. And maybe weight loss and just regular exercise. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Okay. Um, I made some notes when I was going over your chart note um, earlier today. I thought it was a good note overall. Uh, a little messy, but I thought it was good, concise. I like that you wrote everything in point form rather than actually doing a lot of storytelling. I find that just takes up so much okay. room. Um, your objectives were good. You had good detail there. Your follow-up plan wasn't I wasn't sure when he was going to actually come back, like it just said follow up after x-ray, but was he going to get the x-ray done right away and come back in a week, or did you want to give him four weeks of conservative management and then bring him back with the x-ray results? So okay. maybe clarifying that a little bit more would have been good on the chart note. And, uh, and then I had asked about urinary symptoms, but you told me that during the case. As far as the case review, um, I thought your general case presentation was really good. I liked um, that you sort of told me about the information and how you made a decision about what your differential was. I thought that was good. I thought your approach to the management was very reasonable. Um, I liked that you included what you did for patient-centered care, that you, kn you, know, you really did look at what his underlying fears and expectations were and concerns about mm -hmm. prostate um, okay. cancer. I think if you wouldn't have done that, he might have left feeling like he wished he would have told you or you, he wished you would have asked. Okay. So I thought it was great that you covered that and it probably meant that he felt that you really understood kind of the reason behind his concerns. So that was, that was great, so good job. And um, overall, I thought your care could have been a little bit more comprehensive as you've already noted, just making sure the blood pressure was done during that visit. And uh, um, you know, when was his last complete exam? Um, you didn't do a rectal examination, so that might be mm -hmm. important to do considering he's had those symptoms for a while. So mm -hmm. um, maybe when he comes back next time, um, if you could see him, maybe go over those things during that next visit? Sure. Okay, great, thanks. Mm -hmm.